And I want to ask the question here this morning. Maybe you walked into this place. You have never, ever given your life to Jesus. You've never said, Jesus, come and be my Lord and Savior. Friend, I want to ask you a question. What would happen if today was your last day on the earth? What would happen if you went home and put your head on your pillow tonight and you never woke up? They found you gone in the morning time. Where would you go? Where would you spend eternity? I want you to know there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. You don't have to go to a devil's hell because 2,000 years ago on Calvary's cross, the price was paid and the blood was shed. And just like that old song says, there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners plunged beneath that flood, lose all the guilty stain. Today, the power of sin will be broken. The power of guilt and shame will be removed from your life. And today, you will walk from this place changed, not because of a man, but because of Jesus. I want you to know that he loves you so much he stands with arms wide open. He says, come, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden. I'm going to give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. He calls you. Today, we are talking about a relationship, not religion. Religion is man's vain attempt to reach God, but Christianity is God reaching man in the person of Jesus Christ. And Jesus came and did it all. And all you have to do is humble yourself, humble yourself and believe. He loves you so very much. The word of God declares, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And then verse 17 of John chapter three says, for God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He loves you and he calls you today. Will you surrender your life to him today? Will you say, Jesus, come. Come and be my Lord and Savior. I'm tired of a life of self and sin. Today I surrender my life to you. I want you to be Lord of my life. Today I repent of my sin. Come. And he will come and do just that because he loves you so very much. Secondly, maybe you've come to this place and once upon a time you gave your life to the Lord, but you've grown cold there was a time in your life when you were on fire for God, but something happened. And now you go through the motions. You find it even hard to pray or read your Bible or even show up at church. But you know as you're sitting here today that there was a time in your life when you were on fire for God. God used to use you. And you look back to those days and you say, oh, I wish I could get back. Well, the Lord says, you can come back today. You can get back today. He calls you. Maybe it's something hidden that no one can see because no one can see your heart, but God sees your heart. Pride, unforgiveness, bitterness, jealousy, anger, lust, hidden things that clog the hearts of man. Maybe it's something that's outward that everyone can see and the devil uses it against you to keep you in a place of guilt and condemnation. You feel like God will never use you because of something that happened in your life, something that transpired. But I want you to know that God is a God of a second chance. And today you can surrender your life afresh to him. You can say, Lord, today I'm giving you my life afresh. Today, let it be a new beginning for me. And he will come. He said, I will take out the stony heart and put in a heart of flesh. In the book of Revelation chapter three, Talking to the Laodicean church, he talks about three temperatures, hot, lukewarm, or cold. He said, I would that you were either cold or hot, but he said, if you're lukewarm, I'll spew you out of my mouth. God is telling his church, this is not the hour to be lukewarm. This is the hour to be on fire for God. This is, on, this is the hour to be radical for Jesus. And it's about surrender. Today he calls you. Maybe it's not hidden outward like I described, but maybe you were going along and this storm came against your life. It was like a Mack truck from hell just hit you out of the blue. A sudden divorce, a bankruptcy, the loss of a loved one, a sudden illness, the betrayal of a close friend, the loss of a job. Something happened that just, it like knocked the wind out of your sails and set you back. I meet people all the time, even ministers, they say, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a place for five, six, seven, eight, nine years. 
They say, how do I get out of it, Pastor? I said, just come and fall in love with Jesus all over again. Come on. I meet so many people, they just do the, it's like they're in the business of ministry. They've lost that, that childlike faith, that, that passion that they once had. I don't ever want to lose that. To always be around the things of the Spirit of God, to be like a little child, just like with my grandkids when I tell them we're going to go do something and their face lights up and they go, oh, pop-ups. Oh, pop-ups, that's so wonderful. And I'm like that with the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That's so wonderful. A person's being saved. A person's being healed. Friday night, a 15-year-old girl shook under the power of God. The power of God took her and just shook her like a leaf. I mean, and I gave a word of the Lord that God had called into the ministry. How can you ever get used to that? How can you ever get used to that? You can't ever get used to that. You want to know why? Because now I'm meeting, I'm meeting people that were 15 and now they're 35 and they're pastoring a great church. So I'm looking, I'm savoring the moment. My God, what is God going to do with that individual? What is the Lord going to do with that person? So it's time to come back to fall in love with Jesus all over again. If you mean busy with God, God means busy with you. And then lastly, if you're in this place today, you do love the Lord, but you're not sure of your salvation. The devil's always lying to you because that's what he does. He's a liar. Much like the politicians. The devil lies to you, tells you that you're not saved. But today you can know that you know that you know you're a child of God. If this is you, if you fit into any one of these three categories, I want to pray with you and for you. Right where you are, while heads are bowed and eyes are closed, quickly put your hand up right now and say, pray for me, I need Jesus. All across the building right now. All across the building, those that are watching by way of television, I know we can't see your hand, but the Lord can see your hand. Lift your hand in your house right now. And then when I pray with them, you pray with me. And today is your day of freedom and liberty and salvation. And today, God is going to come and restore to you the joy of your salvation. Today, he's going to take out the stony heart and put it in a heart of flesh because he loves you so very much. You can put your hands down. I want you to look at me now, please, everyone. Look at me. This section over here, you didn't raise your hand, but you want to be included in the prayer. I'm going to pray right now quickly. Slip your hand up right now. Say, include me. God bless you. 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 Yes. God bless you. All the way to the back. Yes. Just slip it up high. Today's your day. Today's your day. God bless you. This section here, you didn't raise your hand, but want to be included. Put your hand up now. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes, 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 yes. God bless you. This section here. You didn't raise your hand, but want to be included. Just put your hand up right now. Today is your day. I'm going to ask everyone that raised your hand, I want you to stand to your feet. Everyone that raised your hand, stand to your feet right now. Stand to your feet right now. All across the building, stand to your feet right now. All those that raise your hand, stand right now. I'm going to ask you to come from where you are. Make your way down the aisles and come stand right here. We're going to pray. Quickly come. Today is your day of freedom. Today is your day of liberty. I want you to look at me as they're coming still. And you that are watching by way of television to listen very carefully. As I pray with them, pray with me along with them. And surrender your life to the Lord today. He loves you. I want you to look at me. Today we're going to pray. One prayer. One prayer fits all. If you were here for the first time, or you here to recommit your life, or you here to make sure, we're just going to pray one prayer. If you mean business with God, God means business with you. You did not come to man. I'm just a messenger. God sent me from Africa as a missionary. You are the reason that I came to America. And I'm so glad to finally meet you. It's taken me a long time to get to this point. And we've had to cross many rivers. We've had to climb many mountains. We've had to scale many cliffs in perils like you cannot even begin to imagine just to be even able to stand here today. Many opportunities to quit, attacked on every side. 
by religious people that hated what you just saw here earlier with the joy. They hated it, hate it, hate it, because it rips the guts out of what they're doing. It rips to shreds what religious crowd are doing. And so, but we just ignored and we kept focused, just stay focused, why? Because of you, because of you. You are our joy. And the reason why we would not quit and we're not gonna quit, can you say amen? Hallelujah. So we're going to pray together. I want you to close your eyes right now and raise your right hand to heaven. That's where your help comes from. And pray this together with me right now. Say, Father, I come to you. In the precious name of your son, Jesus. Lord, you said in your word, if I confess with my mouth, Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. And I believe in my heart that God has raised you from the dead. I will be saved. So Father, right now, I confess Jesus is my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart right now. Take out the stony heart. Put in a heart of flesh. Wash me. Cleanse me. Change me. Fill me, use me. Let me never be the same again. I turn my back on the world. I turn my back on sin. And I follow you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for dying for me. Thank you for shedding your blood for me. And thank you that on the third day you rose for me. And thank you that you're coming back again for me. From this day on, I'll never be the same again. I confess Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. He is my Lord and my Savior. And right now, by faith in the finished work of the cross and by the shed blood of Jesus, I'm born again. I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving me now. Now lift both hands and begin to thank him right now. Just thank him right now. If you prayed that prayer as I prayed with them, that means you accepted Jesus, your Lord and Savior. We want to hear from you. Go to our website at revival.com and you can email us at prayer request. Tell us that you watch the YouTube channel we really love to interact with you and send you something that's gonna help you in your walk with Christ. And then of course, you can continue to watch every services taken and uploaded, either we live on YouTube or you can watch it on a rerun as we edit the messages down. And I pray that this YouTube channel's a special blessing to you. I'd love to hear from you. I wanna interact with you. You can follow me on Facebook, on my Twitter account, my Periscope account, Instagram, whatever. Uh, All the links are found on revival.com, which is the best place to go. So let's just pray over you right now that the Lord would touch you and empower you and then become proactive in the kingdom that God use you in a powerful way to bring in the harvest of souls. And I pray for His anointing to touch you. Father, touch every one of our friends watching on YouTube. Raise them up to be mighty men and women of God and use them to impact their generation, we pray. Heal restore, renew, revive them even now. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone said, Amen. Thank you for watching. Keep watching and interact with us. We want to hear from you. We love you. If you'd like to be a part together with us, then support this ministry and so seed revival.com. There's a drop-down box, online giving, or there's an address on the screen. You can send a love gift to Our ministry help be a part together with us in the Great Awakening as we travel across America and around the world, lighting fires. So we'd love to hear from you and your financial support is greatly appreciated. From all of us here, we love you. Thank you for being a part.